Hello, today we're going to review how to do a bank reconciliation in QuickBooks 2016. To start off, we will need to look at the bank that we are going to be reconciling. This is a union bank statement and has the necessary information beginning balance, ending balance. The next thing you need to do in QuickBooks is go to the reconciling menu under the banking. Here is when you would want to select your bank account. So for our purposes here, it's this union bank account ending in 5259. And see here, 5259. And there are two cert, um, sets of information that we need to record in this bank reconciliation um, in order to start the process. Okay, so the two pieces of information we need from the bank statement in order to start the reconciliation process are the statement date as of 4-5, so April 5th, 2017. And then the other piece of information we need is the ending balance, which is $3,272.76. So now, if we go back to here, we'll put in that April 5th, 2017. and the ending balance of $3,272.76. Then from there you just hit continue. So what this is now going to give you is the um, reconciliation details. So what this is going to list is the everything that's been entered into QuickBooks, the checks and payments on the left hand side, and the deposits and other credits on the other first thing you want to do is you want to check this hide transaction after the statement's end date. What this will do is hide everything after April 5th so that we're just focusing on everything up to the statement's end date. Then what you want to do is go through your bank statement and check off everything that has cleared on the bank statement. So if we look at this bank statement these are the different deposits that happened. So we can um, check these off to the on QuickBooks that they actually cleared. So if we go back to here, the first 1065, 4418, and so forth. Then we can go into the checks and the payments. So if we go back to the Union Bank statement, there are the electronic payments that were made, um, as well as purchases through the ATM, and then there are also checks clearing. So whenever we're cutting checks, there's obviously the process of them getting mailed and then getting deposited by whoever they were sent to, so that delay creates a, a process here where certain checks clear once you mail them, and then they can also be outstanding. So I'll show you that. If we go through each of these, um, and then if we go back and check off all of the transactions that the electronic transactions that cleared as we're doing this you can look down in the bottom right hand side here and what that is doing is it's showing you one the ending balance that we booked up from the bank statement and then how much the cleared balance is that we've checked so far and what our difference is currently. So as we keep checking these off, that balance should start to decrease. Okay, so we checked off all of the electronic transfers and ATM charges, and that leaves the actual checks that were cut in the month of March. Now if we go back to the bank statement, we will see that two checks cleared Check number 1654 for 7200 and check number 1657 for $320. So if we go back to QuickBooks, and you can see here, five checks were cut on March 10th, but based on what happened in the bank, only this check for 7200 and this check for 320 have cleared. Once we have done that, their difference is now zero, and the bank account is now reconciled. So what this means is there are these three checks that are currently reducing the general ledger balance that have not cleared the bank. So those are currently outstanding checks that 
um, as of the end of this most recent statement of 4.5, they have not cleared the bank. But it still shows that they're in transit, meaning that they, um, they will clear soon. So once you're done with that process, um, one thing you always want to do is check your outstanding items and make sure that they make sense. Some checks that haven't cleared the bank yet in, in a month can make sense because they could be in transit in the mail. The, the company that received them has just might not have deposited them to their bank account yet. Um, if you saw a, a check that hasn't cleared from multiple months ago, that's when you would want to research that check to see why it did not get to that particular vendor or it did not clear their bank account. To finish up the reconciliation, now that the difference is zero, you click Reconcile Now. And what's going to pop up is a is this Select Reconciliation Report. So what this gives you is detail of the particular reconciliation. So usually what we would like to do is select the detailed reconciliation. And now that pops up this. So this is the reconciliation detail and what this is showing is these are the checks and payments that cleared during the, this particular month. These are the deposits and credits that also cleared during that particular month and then these are your uncleared transactions. Um, notice the 32726 is your bank balance but your general ledger balance as of this particular period is $856. And the reason for that is there is $2,416.76 worth of checks that have been cut, they just have not cleared yet. Now, when you're looking at cash flow and trying to figure out how much money you have, one thing you always want to be looking at is your general ledger balance because this includes checks that have been cut that just have not cleared the bank yet and that will clear the bank once the vendor receives them and deposits them. So this reconciliation detail is a good report to save along with the actual statement in the files for that particular client. So we can have this backup showing that this account has been reconciled as of this time. We know this balance is a reconciled balance to the actual bank statement and we know what's remaining that has not cleared. Another type of unclear transaction that could occur in some companies would be a deposit in transit and what this is when if it's a particular company they have cash that they receive every day from their daily operations and they um, take that to the bank and deposit it or they send it through some sort of armored courier service there will be days at the end of the month say the the last few days that the cash did not hit the bank so it would be in here because we've recorded the cash but it would not have cleared yet. So in the same sense that we can have checks that are outstanding that have not cleared the bank and reduced our bank balance, there can be deposits that have not reached our bank as well from that particular month that are in transit that will increase our bank balance. So that's the reconciliation process. It is very important to be doing this as it allows us to be on top of our cash flow for individuals and companies and it keeps track of what the standing is of the bank balance and GL balance at a given moment and making sure that everything is clearing and that there, um, the GL balance is represented correctly. Now, one thing to be wary of is when you're going into the reconciliation and the beginning balance does not match what your previous month's ending balance is, then something was most likely booked in QuickBooks at an incorrect date or an earlier date. So whenever that happens, um, it would be an item that was potentially booked to, say, February 7th as opposed to April 7th, so that now your beginning balance is off, which will throw off the whole reconciliation. To recap the bank reconciliation process, you will reconcile your bank statement and through the banking and reconciling menu in QuickBooks, you will need to enter the bank statement's ending balance as well as the statement ending date. Those two information then, when you go into the reconciliation process, you check off everything that's been booked in QuickBooks to what has cleared the actual bank account. And once you've gotten through all of that, then the reconciliation, once it balances, the only things that should be remaining would be outstanding checks that were cut but had not reached the vendor and been deposited, or deposits that are in route to the bank but have not quite hit the bank account. Look out for old items that 
are still outstanding multiple months at a time because those things that we should be researching. And the more we're on top of these balances, the better we can watch our cash flow and make sure that we have the correct amount of money for um, operations.